Hello everyone, I have an HP Pavilion DM4, again that's HP Pavilion D as in David, M as in Mike, f number 4, that has a, a display uh, issue. Um, when I turn on the power, the Windows logo shows up, and then after a while, it looks like something is going on but it never goes to the Windows environment so please stay with me as I troubleshoot this uh, issue and then later on we will find out which uh, part is defective okay so the actually the laptop right now is on and and I can hear some activity in the hard drive but nothing shows up on the screen I will try this is an HP uh, machine so it has its own self test uh, in the in the BIOS so I'm gonna try to do that first and see what the self diagnostics can uh, find uh, I don't know what's going on with this. trouble in any component okay so let's let's do that but as you can see I've been talking here for some time right now but nothing still uh, shows up on the screen okay so maybe it's just a reset of some uh, loose components inside so let me turn this off and then uh, open the, the machine Okay, before opening the machine, you have to remove the hard the, the battery. That's the most important thing. And um, let me start opening the the bay. There's one in the uh, memory section. I took out the memory earlier and then uh, just reset and uh, I hope this can fix the issue so let me put back the battery and uh, power on uh, power up the machine It, look, it looks like nothing is showing on the screen so you know what let me perform a diagnostic test I pressed the earlier I pressed the escape button and then um, um, op this option shows up on the screen there's a startup test there's like a memory test and there's a hard drive test mm, let me do the hard drive test or better yet uh, let me do the startup test because this will uh, check uh, the memory and all other components this will test the memory module the hard drive uh, smart attributes uh, part of the hard drive surface test and the battery but this test will take a variable amount of time depending on the amount of memory you have in the machine the more memory you have the the faster the test can finish so now um, it is performing in the test and I will have to just wait until it's uh, done this may take a little while so I will ha maybe have to stop this and uh, so that we will not consume um, unnecessary time here um, I'm just trying to do that 20% right now again that's on the startup test uh, it, it, right now it's testing the memory module Um, 
I don't think I have to run this uh, let me pause this continue okay so I came back it did not finish the memory test because it says the memory test pass smart check pass but the short DST I don't know what's the meaning of DST failed and there's a failure ID it says a bunch of characters here now what I'm going to do is copy the bunch of characters here and Google it and then we will see what's the result okay let me pause this again as we are trying to continue to diagnose which part is the culprit okay I will come back for another um, sorry to continue the video okay guys earlier we had a failure ID I have a bunch of characters and numbers here so I'm gonna type in the the error that I got with that HP notebook I have earlier uh, I put in failure ID whatever the number was there earlier dash uh, 5 L B 6 H 9 dash X D um, I may try if I can find a similar failure ID online and it looks like the closest I have hold on just failure ID um, the closest is this one RGA 9v1 let me try that one Okay, it says here I ran a test in HP support assistance on my video card. I get a failure ID RGA something blah blah blah. I replaced my video card today. My operating my Windows operating I'm sorry, Windows 7 home premium 64 bit. I remove and I installed later. What else did he say here? Um there's a tech guy that says here he, this is an uh, HP expert it says he says I mean contact PNY what is PNY tech support you might need to return a video card it looks like this is a video card issue then he replied I just got off the phone with PNY nothing really helpful to speak of yeah because they maybe they their engineers are off or offshore and um, and some of them are not really uh, practicing technicians like the hardware technicians um, um, another the expert said clearing the CMOS the motherboard revision it says here what else did he say will your PC boot up in safe mode or when you press the F8 we we tried that before and it still didn't do any any good okay so this can be a video issue as um, according to that HP expert um, but you know what let me try to reset some the components it could be just loose connection or something I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it could be just the memory uh, let me try to reset the memory and see what happens okay so what I did is to reconnect everything and then um, I will try to do the uh, diagnostics again so I press escape uh, key and then uh, press F2 for the diagnostic but this time I'm gonna do the hard drive test you know what I, I really doubt the uh, HP experts opinion that this is a video issue in my experience if it's a video issue 
nothing will show up on the screen it could be a blank uh, a white screen or a black screen but this time the lo the window logo uh, show showed up nice I mean uh, so I really doubt so okay let me run that HD HDD test and see what happens well as you can see on the screen it just shows up that um, there is a failure on the HDD well for information guys I did a little cheat here uh, there's some previous videos uh, before this uh, screen showed up and I decided not to show it because it um, takes so much time it's just only a, a stationary screen showing the progress on uh, the HDD test but again this time okay it, it showed that there's an HDD failure so let me try to get a hand on another HDD and then uh, install it in this machine and see what happens if uh, if Windows can load properly okay since I was not able to get a hold of an extra hard drive so what I did is um, I took out the original hard drive from that uh, HP Pavilion DM4 that I am working earlier so and I connected it to a USB to SATA uh, drive connector and attach it to my other uh, computer and then see if this can be detected well my computer just only says that it is installing the device driver but it looks like it's just the driver for the SATA dry uh, for the uh, SATA connector or adapter Hmm. Okay, well, we'll try to see if um, the hard drive can be uh, detected here. Let me open the computer panel there. Hmm, nothing no external drive is uh, detected so that is strange <laughs> but I noticed that the hard drive is producing some screeching sound and or a high pitch sound which is very unusual Although I can see the red light flashing, that means there's an activity in the hard drive. But when I open the computer icon, there is no additional hard drive or any device that has been uh, detected. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to try this in another computer and see if... Um, this hard drive is uh, detected okay so I, I will come back okay guys before I shoot this video uh, I tried the the original hard drive with another machine and it did not detect as well so I decided to buy an, uh, a, a, a new a new hard drive for this machine I got one from Fresh Electronics for $84 for a one terabyte Western Digital this is a SATA drive and the original hard drive for this uh, model is uh, 500 gigabyte so it's like um, almost 100% bump uh, it became now a one terabyte so um, I will try to install uh, First, I have to mount this in the hard drive bay and then install Windows 7 on it and see what happens. Okay, guys, this is a new hard drive right now. I'm just trying to uh, put back uh, all the connectors. 
and then um, replace it on the uh, hard drive bay Okay, for the time being, I will just leave the other uh, base open. Uh, now let me connect the uh, battery. Okay, so let me now power the machine. and uh, press the escape uh, key oh by the way I have already inst I mean inserted the installation disk in the optical drive so I'm going to boot in the using the CD I mean the DVD or the disk and then install it from the disk to this new hard drive so I'm gonna press F2 I mean F9 I'm sorry F9 and I'm going to select the option to boot from disk okay the disk right now is preparing the installation for the Windows 7 and um, while this is going on um, I don't want to hold your time so I, I'm gonna pause this video and then Resume it into the later part of the process. Okay, so I'm back with the. Uh, as I just finished the installation of Windows 7. Uh, as you can see now, there are a lot of activities on the screen, unlike uh, unlike earlier. So I can. Basing from what we from what I'm showing you right now It looks like the up the opinion of those uh, Expert people saying that it is the video issue is not actually correct uh, So um, Just a tip If this happens to your machine, let's say e a logo shows up and all of a sudden it's blank You suspect it's a hard drive issue if nothing shows up on the screen it could either be a memory issue or CPU or video display but if something shows up then I would um, check first the hard drive so I hope I gave you some insights and um, possibly a good solution to the issues you're facing right now so uh, for additional tips and details about this video, please visit my website or my blog at www.ifixiteasy.com or simply click the link in the description below this video. So again, thank you so much for watching and uh, please sign up for my uh, newsletter or subscribe in my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Goodbye.